Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Holiday Cheer YouTube video hop with Honeybee Stamps. And they have a fun and festive new release happening and I've created a shaker shape card using the Snow Globe A2 Shaker Honey Cuts die set. So I'm gonna create a shape card using this and I'm gonna take that first outline of a snow globe and die cut it into some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Now for the base of my shape card, I have some Nina Solar White 110 pound, which is a little more sturdy, good for a card base. And I scored it at four and a quarter wide. I'm just using my bone folder here to give it a nice score. And I'm gonna put on that same outline and hang it off the left side. That will, I'll have a hinge on that side to create my shape card. You could either create your hinge on the side or on the top. Are you a side fold type of type of card maker? Or are you a top folder? Generally, I'm a side folder, but you know, whatever works is whatever works. Now for the outline, I did some aqua for the uh, outline of the snow globe. And then for the base, there's some metallic gold that I did. Now to create the shaker window using a little Hero Arts acetate, and I will die cut that to get the perfect shaker window cut. I'm going to flip over my aqua outline and use some honeybee glue and um, glue on the acetate if you don't want to use liquid glue because, you know, nothing worse than getting oozy glue on your acetate window. Am I right? Like that just chaps your khakis. So there you have a nice little uh, shaker window and using that same honeybee glue, I'm going to just slap on the metallic base, which makes you look fancy for the holidays. Now for the background of my snow globe, of course you could keep it plain white. You could even die cut some pattern paper, but I'm going to do a little ink blending, but I'm keeping it subtle. So I'm using some cracked pistachio and evergreen bow, which is a color I don't use very often, but it pairs beautifully with cracked pistachio. And it's a great for a, for a snow globe look, you know, it's like, it's like the snow globe's full of water. You know, that's what I was kind of thinking. Anywho, so I did a little subtle around the edge and faded it into nothing. Now I put it in an old box because I'm going to do some flicks. And um, I just um, smushed some of that evergreen bow onto an acrylic block and picked up a wet brush and flicked on a little bit of that. And because you know that what they say about flicking, go hard or go home, I'm flicking on a little white gouache for some white flicks. And there you have it. It's very flickety for a snow globe. Now this is the, it's called Lovely Layers Pine Cone Honey Cuts set. And I'm gonna create this, I'm telling you, these pine cones are a show stopper. I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna come together, but in the end, drop dead gorge. And then a few little pine leaves I'm doing in three different shades of green cardstock. Now I did the pine cone out of craft but I felt like it needed something. It needed a little, a little more depth. It needed a little more love. So I pulled out some Distress Ink and is this called Vintage Photo, I believe? And I added a little something to it and that gives it the depth that I was looking for. Back to the Honey Bee Glue Tube to adhere the pine cone together. It comes together easy peasy. And look at that pine cone. Now you could stop there but, but, but since I'm in the flicking zone, I thought why not flick on some vintage photo just to give it some texture. And then I put the, the pine leaves and the pine cone and this is where it gets serious. I'm pulling out the old toothbrush and the toothbrush gives you the finest spray of white gouache. It's fine little sprays, which is exactly what I wanted. It's like falling snow. And then there is a bow in the Lovely Layers pine cone set that I did out of bright red for Christmas. While I'm prepping and assembling and gluing my bow, I gotta tell you a traumatic story that I have about a snow globe. I love snow globe. My daughter, Alex, when she was younger, she used to collect snow globes and she had a bunch of them, like probably 15, all different kinds. And she did have one that was like a Disney princess snow globe, but it was plastic. It wasn't, you know, like glass, it was plastic. And when Emma was a baby, I'm talking like two months old, I gave her a bath 
and I took her out of the bath and I set her on Alex's floor to wrap her up in a towel. And right next to her was that snow globe, this plastic Disney. And I picked it up to put it on the shelf. And you ever get Butterfingers? Like, I don't know what happened. Everything went into slow-mo. But while I was picking up the Disney snow globe, I dropped it right on Emma's two-month-old head. And it cracked her right, right above her eye, like right by the eyebrow, split it open. And like, not to, not to gross you out or anything, but there was blood, like a lot of it. And I took that blanket or towel and I held it on the cut and I paced around in circle like a chicken with its head cut off because I didn't know what to do. Called my husband, Mark, and he was like, meet me at the emergency room. We drove there. <laughs> I walk in with all five of my kids and the lady, uh, the receptionist was like, who did it? I said, I did it. And um, you know what they did? And she never made a peep. In fact, I think she fell asleep, but they glued it. They used liquid glue for the stitches. And she's 10 now and you wouldn't know what ever happened. By the way, I'm zhuzhing the pine cone. And I filled it with some Simon's Stamp sequins. Now I'm adding the Joy Honeycut for the sentiment. And I did the outline in red and the word dye in white. Needless to say, I'm a little bit haunted by certain snow globes. <laughs> I don't think you ever live that down as a mom when you drop a snow globe on your two month old cracker eyebrow open. And, but you know what? It all ended fine. Everyone's fine. It's all fine. Uh, anyway, okay. So I'm going to emboss a coordinating sentiment from the joy stamp set. And it says, and peace. There's a lot of great sentiments to go along with joy in that stamp set. I actually had a hard time picking one, but I went with Ann Peace and I trimmed it out into a little banner that kind of tucked in the joy. And I went round and round the snow globe trying to figure out where I wanted to place it. You ever do that with your sentiment? Like round and round the card until you settle in right in the middle. Like, and now this snow globe shaker shape card is finished. Make sure and check out the rest of the YouTube video hop with honeybee stamps. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.